the particles from the Big Bang grouped together due to gravity and formed the first atoms. These atoms grouped together in clumps, eventually becoming stars. When the first stars formed, they also began to emit the first light, which the James Webb Space Telescope was built to detect. The JWST has been designed to answer many of the core questions that have animated astronomers over the past half century. With a $10 billion US price tag, it is one of the most ambitious engineering initiatives ever attempted, with the goal of rewriting the history of the cosmos and reshaping humanity's position within it. Now, in another in a growing series of triumphs, the James Webb Space Telescope may have found evidence of a strange and elusive type of star that only existed in the very early universe when invisible dark matter was one of the only available fuel sources. New research suggests that three of the earliest objects identified as galaxies by the JWST aren't galaxies at all but rather dark stars, immense, ultra-bright hypothetical objects powered by dark matter rather than nuclear fusion. If the theory is correct, then this could finally help scientists better understand dark matter, the universe's most mysterious component. Things are atomic matter that is powered by dark matter, and one supermassive dark star could be as bright as an entire galaxy containing normal fusion-powered stars. Astrophysicist Catherine Fries, an astrophysicist at the University of Texas at Austin and lead author of a new study published on July 11 in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, said, according to theory, dark stars are enormous in comparison to ordinary stars that exist in the universe today, like the Sun. Dark stars are hypothesized to have widths hundreds of times greater than that of the Sun. These stars, composed mostly of hydrogen and some helium, existed in protogalaxies when the universe contained mostly those two elements, helium and hydrogen. Heavier elements hadn't yet been forged by nuclear fusion in stars. However, about one thousandth of a dark star's mass would be made up of a secret fuel source, dark matter. Dark matter annihilation. Dark matter, which is all but invisible because it doesn't interact with light, makes up an estimated 85% of the matter in the universe. Theory suggests that when two dark matter particles collide, they may annihilate each other, turning their combined mass into a shower of energetic gamma ray radiation. If dark matter is self annihilating, then the annihilation products could get stuck inside this hydrogen cloud that makes up dark stars, Freeze said. And what that means is you're taking all of the energy that used to be in the mass of the dark matter and dumping it into this cloud, Freeze concluded. Freeze also added that while everyday stars depend on high temperatures, dark matter annihilation could occur at any temperature. Dark matter annihilation doesn't care about the temperature, she said. So you have dark matter annihilation throughout the entire width of the dark star and the surface temperature is relatively cool. Because of that, there's no ionizing photons or other stuff coming off, preventing the accretion of more matter. In contrast, when normal stars have acquired enough mass to start nuclear fusion, the radiation they pump out pushes away the gas envelope that surrounds them, preventing them from accreting more matter and thus growing further. This means that while dark stars may start out with a mass about the same as the sun, the objects can accrete more and more matter, growing to be a million times as massive as the sun and a billion times as bright, Freeze added. Given their huge size, dark stars would appear as more spread out objects rather than as point-like objects like modern day stars. This is how three ancient objects were detected by JWST, named Jade's GSZ 13-0, Jade's GSZ 12-0, and Jade's GSZ 11-0. These could have been misidentified as galaxies according to the new research, and excitingly, these candidate dark stars date to between 320 and 420 million years after the Big Bang. But the dark matter annihilation process can't continue forever. Dark stars sit in the dark matter-rich centers of protogalaxies, which merge together continuously to form proper galaxies, and eventually, this moves dark stars away from their dark matter fuel. As dark stars get displaced from the dark matter-rich center, the dark stars start collapsing, Freeze explained. This will trigger fusion in the smaller ones, creating ordinary fusion-powered stars, which are all created from collapsing clouds of gas. The bigger ones will collapse immediately into black holes, she said. This means that dark stars don't exist in the universe today, Freeze summarized. However, it's difficult to pinpoint exactly when in the 13.8 billion year history of the universe that dark stars would have ceased to be. Dark energy. Confirming the existence of dark stars via these JWST observations would be huge. 
but Freeze pointed out that she and her team aren't quite there yet. This confirmation would require either looking at these candidate dark stars for much longer to build a more complete picture of their light output or waiting for magnified observations that better reveal the light emissions of these objects, which could allow scientists to identify whether the objects have pure hydrogen or helium compositions as would be expected from dark stars. The dark star idea has been hanging in there for many years, and it would be extremely exciting to me to have this proven correct, Fries concluded. While the first ever evidence of dark matter appears, scientists expect that the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to promote its outstanding power, not only unlocking the mysteries of dark matter but also dark energy. Because, after all, dark energy is even more mysterious than dark matter. Even its discovery itself in the 1990s was a complete shock to scientists. Previously, physicists had assumed that the attractive force of gravity would slow down the expansion of the universe over time. But when two independent teams tried to measure the rate of deceleration, they found that the expansion was actually speeding up. One scientist likened the finding to throwing a set of keys up in the air, expecting them to fall back down to Earth, only to see them fly straight up towards the ceiling. Scientists now think that the accelerated expansion of the universe is driven by a kind of repulsive force generated by quantum fluctuations in otherwise empty space. What's more, the force seems to be growing stronger as the universe expands. For lack of a better name, scientists call this mysterious force dark energy. Unlike dark matter, scientists have no plausible explanation for dark energy. According to one idea, dark energy is a fifth and previously unknown type of fundamental force called quintessence, which fills the universe like a fluid. Many scientists have also pointed out that the known properties of dark energy are consistent with a cosmological constant, a mathematical band-aid, if you will, that Albert Einstein added to his theory of general relativity to make his equations fit with the notion of a static universe. According to Einstein, the constant would be a repulsive force that counteracts gravity, keeping the universe from collapsing in on itself. It's interesting to note that Einstein later discarded this idea when astronomical observations revealed that the universe was expanding, calling the cosmological constant his biggest blunder. Conclusion Now that we see the expansion of the universe is accelerating, adding in dark energy as a cosmological constant could neatly explain how spacetime is being stretched apart. But that explanation still leaves scientists clueless as to why the strange forces exist in the first place. After all, having admitted that everything we know, everything we can see, is just 5% of everything in the